Hello everyone and welcome to sketchbook number two. Um, this sketchbook was done in February. I did this challenge where I wanted to finish a sketchbook in one month and this is the result. Sketchbook number two. Now this is something interesting with this sketchbook because in the front um, I painted one of my characters. This is Jay. He's a soul, he's not a ghost. Um, he has a sweater and I did this in acrylic and gouache now here's my mistake gouache right okay that one substance of paint that is um, that gets reactivated when you wet it again so in the back here you can see this mess right here it was beautiful at first but accidental art I guess um, I went to use Mod Podge which is what I use to kind of seal my art after I paint it um, it smeared my big heart in the back, which, I mean, now I look at it, it's not really that bad. I know what it's supposed to be, so it looks like crap, but it's not that bad. But it smeared this whole thing. I mean, look at it. I got like blotches. Look, you can still see the original book is like green. It's, it, it's an artistic mess, but I, I like the artistic mess, even though it's a mess. I still love it. But um, yeah, sketchbook number two, February 2020. Color and Stars, which is the whole brand that I have. My name is Star, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, February, so, yep, cool. Um, if you're curious, this is a Dinic, um sketchbook. You can find them in Michaels. I don't know if, I mean, the big ones, I, I believe are done. The small ones, I don't know if they're actually making any more of these. I know they got it on the website, but they're not the same kind of paper. Those are like notebook paper sketchbooks you can customize, but the one in Michaels, these little small seven by nine ones, they're my favorite. And I'll, I got as much as I could before they all leave me. Sketchbook number two. All right, here you got Star here, and it says February 2020, and I got some random stickers. I didn't make those. I don't know if you can see these little characters in the drawer, but they're adorable. I tried this like weird, um texture i don't know i drew a pillow once that was embellished with like jewels and the tech that's kind of the texture i got from it moving on this is jay he's a part of my nikki comic and he is being harassed by a scarf which becomes enthralled with him here is a drink oh i actually finished this one too um you can see that on the comic as well i think it's in chapter two towards the end um here is a juice box I did, which I also did in digital. And two different colors, um, two different ideas, and I, they, they, I like both of them actually. There's not one I would choose. It's so hard. Um, here's a character I did in um, color pencil. Um, also did this in Prisma color pencil as well, but two things I did in color pencil. Um, here is yeah this and this as well i also tried to do this in watercolor but i messed that up pretty nicely um i did this scrubbing thing with the watercolor and it just started picking up the paper because paper is not really meant for like scrubbing of watercolor you can do some light washes and stuff in it but i wouldn't scrub in it or else you're going to start digging into the paper and then you're going to meet the other side which is the fun part of nothing that was a joke a terrible one moving on Here's Motho, he's also a part of Nikki's series. This is like Nikki's best friend. Um, adorable. Here is a character I got from, is it Kaneko Shake? Or Kaneko, Kaneko Shaki? Something like that. Um, yeah, so that was a cool little reference I took from there. I like my little bunny shoes, I can't help but love them. Here's a tree I created from my own mind and world. Here's a bunny I made, but I can't figure out if his belly is see-through or if it's just a design. It's an optical illusion in the way, not optical illusion, but it, it's, it's a bit of an optical illusion because even I can't tell what I did, then that's that. Even this part looks like, I don't know, if I colored it in, it would take all the mystery away. Nope, I'll keep him wireframe. Here's Boss Man, this crazy, crazy person or thing or entity whatever he is you gotta read the comic and keep up with it in order to figure out what he is or ain't um here's some random sketches here's a leg then you got these two little characters down here which i adore 
Um, they're pretty cool. There's two little characters I did. I'm gonna just put mainly put color in the background. This one, um, it was just a random little sketch. I tried random little um, signs and all and um, outfits. The arm is very short here, but nobody cares about that. But this hand, even though it looks like very square, I actually like it. I need to get back to this style because she has it too. Look at these hands. It's just three fingers. It's not weird until you actually realize it. But if you look at her, she is not the most normal thing in the world. And that's my characters. Not normal. So if you expect them to be anything besides what world they come from, it's the world they are. My characters have round ears. All of them. I love them. <clears throat> now, that's a reference from somebody else. But sometimes I do it in their style, but I do it in mine. But I like this character's whole outfit. I love the little, I love the animal. I, I make kawaii things. I'm coming to terms with it. And there's not, this is kawaii, but it's like this creepy, oh my gosh, why are you staring at me kawaii? They all got the same face, those same eyes. It's creepy. But these characters were inspired by the Car um, Caramel Dancing song. The very, very, very hyper active song that I realized recently that was Swedish. And I realized how much Swedish music I actually do listen to that I didn't know was Swedish. I'm talking to you, Bass Hunter. Black, what, Black Eyed Cherry? Black Wild, wild Eyed Cherry? Black Eyed, I don't know. That Cherry guy who sings that song, Save Tonight. I love that song. Um, here's another character by Kinko Sheki Kane. Kane? I'm gonna call him Kane now. Kane. Sorry, I don't know you, but I, I, I do need to not mess up your name, so I'm gonna call you Kane. Respects. Kirby, Kirby with a yo yo. He's one of my favorite abilities with Kirby. I have another one that I did, um, I did as a speed, not a speed paint. Um, I did on, I did digitally, but it's gone now. Not the, but the video for it is gone, but not the picture. This is textures. We all know that. Posca pans I use for these. I first got them and I was testing them out. Wow, we're only on day seven of February. Or page 17, I should say. It's a chest, not important. This character was inspired by Guaba. Guaba. Yeah, Guaba. And around this time, I was listening to Melanie Martinez. That could explain why I have purple, turquoise, and pink. This was inspired by like 60s design. And how they like, they love color and just the way they use color. And I thought it was interesting. Um, I used my Tombow markers to color it in. Now I just use some line art here. And if you notice, I'm breaking like that wall that I built. I do that a lot in my comics as well. It's, it's fun to do. Right. This here is inspired by uh, Tona Banks. Tona Banks, why do I keep doing that? Um, these, it's a Splatoon character that I was trying to draw on a certain holes and it looks a little chaotic. I, if you can make it out, kudos to you. Um, I know what I'm looking at. I don't know if it helps you guys to figure it out. This is an arm, backpack, that's a face, hair, hair. It's like this big hat, her hands up here. Yeah, a mess. This guy, a little more straightforward, a little less messy. He is ooh, defying gravity right now with this leg. See, this leg is definitely not holding him up. Then it's definitely not in the right perspective. See, this leg is facing forward and his knee is not really doing its job. This leg is definitely raised, so I don't know what's holding him up. Let's just say it's magic, because why not? This arm says so. And he's just, he's in the zone. I like him. Oh, here's Julio. When did I draw that? I don't remember. It was back in February. There's environments. I don't know if you can see it. It's in this light, light blue. I'm pretty sure it's non-photo blue. But let's move on, because you can't see it anyway, and I'm not going to finish it. Here's a kitty furry s character. It wasn't colored in until like a few months ago. I colored it in just to test what it would look like. And they're both sides are terrible. Uh, terrible. Um, the, the reference of the character was um, mixed pastel on DeviantArt. This character here is my own character. Her name is Kid. Um, I was playing with her design because she wasn't yet fleshed out and I felt like I love this character so much but I don't draw her enough. This is around the time I realized I don't draw my characters enough, so I was trying to get back into that. But you see these little animal socks and stuff? It's just my life now. This character doesn't even matter now because you can't see her. It's all in yellow. And you think it was already in yellow, and now you definitely can't see because of the markers. Alcohol markers, by the way. Right? Yeah. They're okay in this sketchbook. I did it more on another one than this one. You'll, you'll see that um, in another sketchbook tour. 
This is Jay. This is another Jay, not the one from before with the sweater trying to choke him to death. This one with the hat and hair. He actually has arms too. I didn't draw it here, but he is emotional. Look at that. Happy, worried, crying. He's not a baby, by the way. I do him a little. This is Mr. Nosy. He usually travels with Jay, the one with the hat. Um, he has a little patch of a heart, and he he's my little Spanish beer. He has a little Spanish must. Is that Spanish or French? Either way, he has this, and he's so cute, his little mustache. This is his backpack. It's usually where he lives. That's Jay's backpack. Here's a baby version of Nikki. It's like I went to through through a whole bunch of ideas of Nikki, because if you, if you notice, her little hair tends to um change. Her little flowers tends to change. Her little head shape tends to change. But her little personality stays the same. This is a happy child. Kind of. Um, this is another inspiration by Kane. I did some of his little drawings. And this one here, I actually did make a little sticker out of. No. I did make a picture out of it. But I just, yeah, it is what it is. Here's some two random little characters I made. This one creeps me out. This one is like a little rocker. Um, I like it more than that one because I don't know why I said it like that. It's so bad. Your hair is pretty cool. I don't know what's happening up there, but it's cool. I like this little guitar and such. Um, I like the personality. <laughs> this is a lot more personality. I don't know what's going on with the legs. It, looks, it reminds me of like somebody walking like this. It's terrible. Here's some food. There's a bag of chips I came up with this um, brand that is within one of my comics. It's not out yet but it's still in the making it's called retro sesh you won't see that for some years or so there's a bag of chips i didn't make a sticker out of it it was pretty fun here's some desserts lizards this i think this is part of kairi metro this is one of the places i was gonna make that was gonna have a name and then have desserts and it's like just think of like a commercial and like explaining what the place is about and such here's kid in a capsule I think it's a cool pose. I was trying to get creative on what a character looked like in a confined space and how their legs would bunch up or how they would react or how like, you know, if the capsule is big enough to fit you in there, you don't want to touch the bottom. So you like kind of pressure yourself against both ends to keep yourself afloat. She's kind of doing that. She's, kind of, she's working hard for no reason. Um, here's more practice of kit. More practice of kit. And I got creative with like bending legs and such out of proportions. Because I noticed that the more exaggerated things are, the more interesting they become. Right? I'm proposed, that's how you like bend the rules between semi-realistic and realistic. Here it is. More kid, more kid. I tend to keep pink in her somewhere. Here's some Crayola marker swatches. Here's some, the little 50 cent paint from Walmart swatches of the apple barrels. Um, here's some paint from Michaels. Here's some Liquid X basic acrylic paints. I put Mod Podge on all of them, by the way. I don't know if you can see. Here's another character called Rim. She is um, part of this story. Um, she has like a prequel on my um, webtoons called um, The Nightmare. She looks way different from this. You'll you'll notice. You'll see her develop more in other sketchbooks, maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna just say, yeah, you're gonna see it eventually. I'm not gonna tell you which one. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, this is like an earlier version of her. This is the version she almost was, and I realized she was too much of a kid. And I wanted her to have a little more dynamics to her, so I'll make her a little more. Um, but this is like a good example of kind of my style, what it used to be at least. I'm a little more, I have a little more um, information to it now. Oh, more of that more of her this is me trying to figure out what her front side and back would be just as a lineup this is me trying to figure out what kind of hairstyle she could rock in this and you see the one i chose has color in it if you ever wonder which one is which one did you choose um uh, we went uh went to see sonic um that was a good movie i like that movie it was pretty cool um this is a outfit or aesthetic um design of like yeah, I have an outfit from Pinterest. There's that. Here's a character I drew. It looks like a movie poster. I drew these, um, my favorite part of this page is this here where I did the 80s texture in the background that I got from reference of a video. And I tried it again here. That was cool. I used the colors that I would use, a little less 80s. Um, here's more stuff. Here is Carrie. 
Here's some like little thumbnails I did. Yeah, look, there's a Nikki. And then we got J and J. You can see that they're two different entities, not the same one. I wasn't kidding. They're brothers. Right here is a character that I created. It looks, it looks like a movie poster, but it's, it's it's cool. I just wrote some words, so something you believe in, and I kind of had the character. But that was cool. Um, here's some randomness that you probably can't even think of what it is. I was just doing some random stuff. It gets a little weird in the back. Um, here we are just doing some random things. Hey, I started watching JoJo. We got Joe Star, Caesar, yada yada yada. If you haven't watched it and you're reading this and you it's your fault you're reading it, I've, I've just said JoJo. Here's a character. Um, cars, also from JoJo. I'm not telling you which one. Uh, don't, don't read that. And here's this. I, I say this because I don't know what, what that's supposed to be. There's this. Um, here's this character I drew, and then again, in the background, I try to do some more 80s. I just try to make, like, aesthetic things, and it's looking more and more like movie posters than anything else. I love it. Hmm. Right here's more just kind of doodling and such. Gosh, I didn't doodle much, did I? This is a face I got from Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. So that was interesting. Here goes Anitsu, my favorite. Bye. Lose my mind kind of face guy. I, I love him. Here's some more ideas of rim. See how, see the big jump that I made? This is a big jump. And that idea of rim. That's a weird face. I don't know what his problem is. Um, <laughs> you thought I was done playing with rim. You are wrong. Look at this face. If you are not creeped out by this, then you're me. Um, but this was, this was fun to do. This was a design I almost kept her with, but it kept like, this weird uneasy feel to it and I was really enjoying it. She changes again later so don't get too attached. This is abstract. This is fun. So this is a lot of abstract stuff coming here. Coming. Here is like imagine just stuff laid out on the floor or on the ground. There's like some cards and stuff that were related to rim. So it's supposed to be like some ideas of what rim cards would look like. This is supposed to be like part of rim's story. Um, the story would be called Dream Sweeper by the way. It's got some meat to it. Um, it just has the prequel, The Nightmare, but um, Dream Sweeper will be coming out after, I don't know if it'll be after Nikki or after the story of the kid. I'm debating. Either way, this guy was made. He kind of reminds me of a toad. Well, I thought of a toad when I drew him. But I thought, what if his eyes were just his glasses? And if you take those glasses off, his eyes would go too. That'd be weird. You, that, that'd be interesting. I'll keep that in mind, because I like to keep things interesting. Here's some weird cards I came up with for Rim because she is not normal. Don't know what none of this is. This is like a horse. This is a box. It's a box. This is like a sun or some kind of like sphere in the background and like this cracked world. This is like a flower if you can see it. The petals here and then just mess around it. That's a mask. This is a mask. I was, remember I was watching JoJo. So here we go. Um, this is something. It could be a butterfly. It could be anything you want it to be. These are straightforward. We got a flower and a crystal. I was drawing one shot things. We're getting towards the end if you didn't notice. So doing, drawing one thing on a page kind of made life a little easier. Some may call it cheating, but no. These are not just like, oh, I drew one thing and that's it. Look, at look, I did all this detail. I put work into it. This is one thing. Um, I'm, I don't even remember what these are now. <laughs> it's been so long <laughs> and I didn't use them for anything yet. Um, this is, I, it's an easel with art on it. I guess I was drawing art within art. Ooh, that's cool. This is supposed to be a whole bunch of flowers that's a part of Dream Sweeper. So like a whole bunch of like interesting flowers because the, the world, it, it makes sense in, in the world. I, I won't tell you much more about it until I actually get onto it. This is a crystal, but it looks like a mountain, in a way. Eh. Or an undressing crystal? That's weird. I don't know. Hey, look, it's Boss Man again. And there's an eye. Where'd that come from? I don't know. Mr. Boss Man is just, he's an odd individual. I was thinking of, like, what if Malto had, like, a different design? But this is not Malto at all. Nope. This, uh, I was trying to figure out what, Ram is an artist. So I was trying to figure out what items she would have. 
So here she has like a piece of paper and a brace with shavings and like the thing it's on is like her backpack slash her drawing board. So we have like a marker and a pen and then we have like hair. Uh, I'll explain. If you, if you read the comic you'll understand why the hair is important. You got this glue because how is she going to make a um yeah read the comic. This thing, whew, I can't even start to explain what that is. Looks like petals, look like hearts, look like fins. Hair, helmet, question mark, who knows? It can be whatever you want. Here's a cup. Here's a cup I was trying to see what it would look like if you had like a can or some sort and what would be an easier way to close it if you had a straw. So like if you twist it, it would close, but how it stay? It was, it was an interesting design for some weird reason. I like to make like brand objects that are like different. Um, this is, this is a cop out. We all know this. And here we have this random little things. Here's poopy butthole from Rick and Morty. This is a piece of honeycomb. This is lipstick something, I guess. And then, then had to be on here again. Needy little thing. Here's a coin purse. And here is my own version of a Joe star in their style. That's, that's pretty on the money. You know, from me trying to draw a Joe Star and me draw my own in my style worked out better than me trying to draw in their style. I, I'll attempt this later. You'll see this later. And then here's the end. Then this little, little fuzz ball of something with the ears. I guess it, I think my inspiration wasn't bad. Hey, don't speak. Move on. Thanks. Wow. Okay. Well, he's a little butt. And here's some random stickers again. Not mine. And that is the end of my second sketchbook. I hope you guys enjoyed it, because there's more coming. And, um, well, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Nah, whatever I'm doing here, do some magic, whatever. I don't know. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.